Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody slept good last night. Woke up this morning praising God. If you hadn't praised God, please stop and do so. Oh, how great it is to praise God this early in the morning. Well, wait a minute. It's it's great to praise God throughout the day. Our prayer list today is all Christian-based churches, Ken and Tammy, Dana, Dana Meeks, uh, Phyllis Mom and Brad, Charles and Laura Owens, Kevin, Megan and Maggie Owens, Dad and Darlene, Aunt Linda Long and family, Cody Hancock and family, Cassandra and family, Brother Byron and his family, Brother Langley, Brother Art and his family, Brother Sam and Miss Irene Wood, Hugh and Linda Collins, Dusty Duffy and family, the U.S. military, Miss Noni, Aunt Hazel and family, Aunt Nancy, Aunt Francis and family, Rita Smith, Carolyn's husband and son-in-law, Kelsey Roach, Linda Godfrey and family, Becky Keith and family, Mr. Mitchell and Miss Grace Sears, J.J. Waldo's son, Chick Blay and Hobby Lobby, Pam Gardner, Bobby Mays' grandson, Hugh Foshi, Alvy Addison and Bobby Rogers, Alvy and Judy Addison, I'm sorry, and Bobby Rogers, Patricia Montgomery, uh, Rebecca again and her son Sam, New, uh, Judy Nichols' grandson, Miss Faye, Jerry Gregory, Smiley, Ricky Waldo, Mr. and Mrs. Rudy, Stone Hutchison, uh, Miss Bunny Sisk, Mr. and Mrs. West, Mary Lynn's son, Baby Mason, Hazel Harlow, Wade Lowry and his family, Patsy Bird, Brother Mac and his wife, and all unspoken prayers. We have anybody to add to the prayer list, please do. Oh, I was reading this morning, a firefighter really got hurt in a blaze this morning. So let's pray for him and his family. Maybe he'll get better. Whatever the God's will, whatever God's will is. If you have anybody to add to the prayer list, please do. We'll put your name down on the prayer list. I hope everybody had a great fourth yesterday, and I hope everybody had kept the Lord in the fourth. Always keep the Lord close to you. If you're celebrating today, please keep the Lord in your day all day. Tell somebody about the Lord. It don't matter who it is, even if it's your wife or your husband. Look at them and tell them what the Lord has done for you today. Well, y'all, let's go to the Lord in prayer and we'll get our Bible study started. Lord God, just thank you so much for bringing us together this morning, Lord. Lord, just reading your word, Lord. Lord God, I ask you to give me the right words to say, Lord. Lord God, just... Look over a bell on the prayer list, Lord. We lift them up to you, Lord. You know they ever need, not their want, Lord. Lord God, I come to you in a special prayer this morning, Lord, just to help me, Lord. Put your healing hands on me, Lord. I, I've got this bladder problem, Lord. Please help me with, Lord. And Lord, just look over as everybody is there out and about today, Lord, away from home or whatever the case may be, Lord. Just please look over and let them be saved. Look over all the listeners, Lord. Lord God, just uh, bless them in every way, Lord. If if it's in your will, Lord. I'm praying all this in your will to be done. And Lord God, I, 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 I want to thank you so much for your many blessings, Lord. And forgive me for my sins, Lord. And Lord God, just know that I love you all so very much, Lord. So very much, Lord. And Lord God, I... I I ask you to take away all them sins I've committed, Lord, and forgive me for them, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Y'all, today we're going to talk about Mr. Peter. We're going to read out of Mark 14, verse 66 through 71. As y'all know, Peter said, oh, I'll never, never deny you, Jesus. I'll always be there beside you, Jesus. Whatever you go through, Jesus, I'll be there. The question is today, will you always be by Jesus? Will you always stand up for Jesus? Or will you be like Peter and kind of be scared to stand up for him? Starting at verse 66 in the New International Version, we read, While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also are a Nazarene, Jesus. I mean, you you were with the with that Nazarene Jesus, she said. But he denied it. I don't know what I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said. And he went on into the entranceway. 
Then the servant girl saw him there. She said again to those standing around, This fellow is one of them. Again he denied it. After a while, those standing near said to Peter, Surely you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. He began to call down curses, and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time, then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him before the rooster crows twice. You will disown me three times. And he broke down and started crying. Y'all, it's so easy to deny Jesus when you're out and about. You're around a group of friends that don't really believe. They're all cursing and talking and all this stuff. And you just kind of fit right in. Jesus, uh, uh, Peter was there and he loved Jesus his love was great for Jesus as we all know it he begun he began he become one of the greatest ones in the Bible but he he was a fearful man I mean he, he didn't fear nothing strong man he stood up for Jesus anytime he'd say but Jesus knew what was in his heart just as well as he knows what's in our hearts Whenever they took Jesus, Peter come come through there. And Peter wanted to be close to Jesus. Because Peter loved Jesus. And he wanted to be close. To see what the people were talking about. So he kind of went in there. Started warming himself by the fire. And here come that woman up beside him and says, Don't you know Jesus? Aren't you one of them that followed him? And still Peter saying, Yeah, I am. I am. Peter says, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand you. And walks away. Well, Peter was over there in the hallway, minding his own business, trying to find out what they're saying about God or about Jesus. So the woman saw him again and says, hey, that is you. You are a follower. Of course, he gets mad and denies it again. Then he goes over to a to a group of people and the group of people looks at him and says hey you're a Galilean you are a follower of him he started cursing them and said I don't know such no such a thing and of course the the uh, the roaster the rooster crowed he denied him three times just in a little while did you deny him yesterday while you was out shooting fireworks or eating barbecue you don't have to verbally say that I don't know Jesus. You can think it in your mind. And you can keep Jesus away from whatever you're doing. So beloved, I'm telling you this morning. Whenever you take Jesus out of it, you're denying Jesus. Always keep Jesus into what you're doing. Whatever you're doing, keep Jesus there. Make sure you everyone knows around you that you're for Jesus. And you'll die for Jesus. When you die and take, they take you to that grave or take you to the, your ashes to be spread out. You are dying for Jesus, for that eternal life. Make sure those people know that. Don't deny Jesus like Peter did and then have to repent for that. Y'all, today, get down on your knees. Ask the Lord for forgiveness and you go out today if you're barbecuing today or whatever you're doing, yard selling, whatever. Make sure everyone around you know where you stand. And if you don't stand with the Lord yet, please ask the Lord to come stand with you. The Lord will stand beside you and he will totally, totally turn your life around. You won't want no more of that bad doings. You will only want good doings. And that's a promise, my friend. You will want that devil to stay outside of your heart. Stay away from you. Oh, what a glorious feeling it is. Amazing grace, how sweet they are. You know, sing praises to God as you go out through the day. Don't deny Jesus. Don't let nobody around you deny Jesus. If they go to denying Jesus... Please tell them about Jesus. Tell them what all he's done for you. And tell them about that home that you're waiting on to go to.
Yesterday as I was at the grocery store, some woman says, are you in a hurry? I said, no ma'am. About the only time I'm in a hurry nowadays is I'm in a hurry to get to see Jesus. Get to get to that heavenly land. And I am in a hurry, y'all. I don't really want to die. But if the Lord's ready, I'm ready to go home. Oh, how great it'll be. But please, y'all, as y'all out and about, keep Jesus in everything. Don't deny Jesus. Don't let Jesus die in your body. Let Jesus live. Let people see Jesus working through you. Let, let his holy light shine through you. Whoo, beloved, how great that is. Lord God, just thank you so much for bringing us together this morning. Lord, just reading your word, Lord. Lord God, just know that I love you all so very much, Lord. And Lord God, please look over by as they're out and about today, Lord. And Lord, just know that I love you all so very much, Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Don't be a don't be a Peter, y'all. Y'all get out and let everybody know where you stand. If y'all need anyone to talk to, sit down with, I'm always here. Y'all can come to my house or I'll try to come to you. Whatever the case may be. If you want to call me, please call me. Feel free to ask for my number if you can't find it on Facebook. Y'all, if you need any pocket crosses, I have plenty. I always have plenty on hand. All you have to do is say, hey, I'd like to have some of them. And I will send them to you. Free charge, free shipping, free everything. Praise God. Praise God I can do that. And y'all, please keep Jesus in everything. You're not doing it for me. You're not doing it because I told you to. Do it because you love Jesus. And let Jesus have all the praise. Beloved, I love y'all. And y'all, be careful today. And be safe. And please keep Jesus in everything. I'm asking you, please tell somebody about what Jesus done. And praise Jesus. Either with songs or with just praise. But y'all have a beautiful and wonderful day. Don't forget today is Friday. Tomorrow's yard sale day. So let's get out there and try to find some. But y'all have a beautiful and blessed day. And I love y'all. And bye-bye.